Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Pragmat. Another week, another bad week for Intel. Earlier, it was the news that Apple had produced a new low-powered chipset for their Macs, the M1, making these new Macs much, much faster than the previous generation of Intel-powered Macs. And that move from Apple was a big sting because they were a long-time Intel partner, and for more than a decade, they have powered pretty much every single Mac. And now, more news and more bad news for Intel. Spreading on the tech blogs, another company might be looking to ditch, and that company is Google. They might be gearing up to produce a whole new generation of Chromebooks powered by AMD. According to Android Police, the next generation of Chromebooks could sport a new AMD Ryzen Zen 3 chipset and cause a whole new headache for Intel. A little bit of background on Chromebooks, I just wanted to quickly cover off what they are in case in case you're not aware, or if you needed a refresher, they are typically low-cost laptops which run Google's operating system, Chrome. Pretty much like having a browser for an operating system. Android apps work on a number of the machines and there's a large amount of extensions. Chromebooks tend to have a lot of great value because they power up really fast and they just have great integration with Google Suite and Google Apps. So you'll have your storage, your email, and all those fun things all there in one package. So why would there be a shift? Why would Google want to change over and go with AMD over Intel. A long story made very short, AMD has leapt ahead with their design capability. They can currently produce a smaller 7 nanometer chipset. Intel is working on 7 nanometer chips, but they look to be delayed into 2022 and possibly early 2023. On a recent earnings call, the CEO described that there were a number of defects causing issues on on the other hand, the new chips that AMD can produce are enticing enough to bring a shift away from Intel, at least in the Chromebook market. And this is somewhere where Intel has dominated for a very long time. The information behind the shift to AMD was uncovered by the Chromium Garrett and reported by Android Police, as mentioned earlier, and in the code, they were able to uncover a number of names which related to the 5000 U series chipsets, and it looks like AMD will have a number of these chipsets powering Chromebooks possibly next year. This is a great opportunity for AMD. They've recently had a lot of success with their Ryzen series chips, and this is just one more opportunity for them to show the world that they can outperform Intel not only on power but on overall costs as well. Well, there's a larger story behind this, and that is that AMD has year after year been making inroads on Intel's market share. If we looked at just the past eight years, you can see that AMD's market share has increased from a low of 17% to a high of 37% market share in late 2020. And Intel, over the same period, they've gone from having over 80% market share down to a low of 62% and that was in their latest quarter in 2020. The truth is, is AMD has worked hard for these gains and hopefully they'll be able to translate that into their future success with Chromebooks. Important to note that Intel really has dominated these machines and that the majority of at least the big name Chromebooks, they are all powered by Intel. A quick look at Google's flagship Chromebook, the Pixelbook Go. Well, it's all Intel based across the board. Looking at another popular Chromebook, the Asus Flip C434, that's powered by an Intel M3. Having a look at the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook, it's Intel Core i5 powered. On the low end, I was able to find a non-Intel powered Chromebook, but it was ARM powered. It was not AMD powered, and that was on the Lenovo Duet. No AMD to be found just yet, but it looks like that's definitely going to change next year, and AMD might just be delivering power and maximizing value for future Chromebook customers. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to my thoughts. If you think this is going to be a big shift for Chromebooks, please leave a comment down below. And perhaps you see things differently and you have your own perspective and I'd love to hear that. Please leave a comment down below. And thanks again from Pragmac.